Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Stephen from James Glen Cars, and today we have a Porsche Boxster, a 987 2.7 manual. Uh, basalt black with a black leather interior. It has covered 55,000 miles with a full and complete service history. Five owners from new and the last registered keeper change back in 2019. A lovely, cherished little example. It even comes with its own car cover in the boot. And uh, once you've reached the end of the video, I'm sure you will uh, wholeheartedly agree that it is certainly an extremely clean and tidy order throughout. So before um, I rabble on anymore, <laughs> but let's get started. So just take a slow, gentle walk around the car, let you take into, uh, just let you take the car's overall condition in as we just have a wee meander around. Uh, all cars are purchased directly from their previous owners via wewontbuyanycar.com, our own in-house car buying service. If you're looking for a valuation on your sports or prestige vehicle, please do get in touch. There will be a link to the description, <laughs> there will be a link to our car buying service in the description below. Uh, please do feel free to submit your car details and we will come back to you with a valuation to buy your car. All cars here are uh, MOT'd upon arrival, regardless of uh, whatever duration of MOT remains. The car then goes through an 82 point REC approved pre-sale preparation standard checklist and then it comes back for detailing. And as you can see, the paintwork is in outstanding order with no car wash marks, no swirls, and just lovely, fully machine polished basalt black metallic paper. So moving in a bit closer, we'll start having a look at some of the, uh, well, if there are any paint defects, we'll go through them over the course of the video. But I have to say, you know, even at the lower, uh, lower end of the, or the, the bottom side, I should say, of the nose cone, there is very, very, very little to, to actually point out. Uh, the camera at the moment is about a foot away from the bumper. If we get any closer than that, we start to lose focus. Um, there is a couple of wee tiny chips just here. You can hear, but you know, if there was, uh, if there wasn't any, that's a, a, an indication that the car's been recently painted. Um, but I think this car is going to satisfy even uh, the most, uh, the, the, you know, the most fastidious of buyers. I don't think anybody would find fault with the condition. So looking down the near side of the car, again we'll try and pick up the reflections in the paint just to give you an idea of how straight and true all the panels are. No parking dents, no ripply previous paintwork, just nice clean straight panels. And looking around the outside of the, the front near side wheel there we can see that there's no, da no damage. Uh, brake discs all in good order there as well, and we're on a Pirelli P0 performance tyre. And looking down the near side from the back, again we can see the reflection of the office there, all nice and clear and straight, no parking dents, no scratches. And um, the near side rear wheel. Put LP0 on there as well, and the disc all in good shape. One area to look out for is this wee section here can be exposed to um, a bit of road rash, which if not um, looked after can then start to rust. I've seen that on some of the other boxes that we've been offered over the years, but that's all in good shape. And just looking across at the driver's side. From the passenger, we can see a wee bit of creasing just on the base, especially on the outer bolster there. The backrest and everything's all in good shape. And for a seat that is, ooh, we've got we on, 17 years old, I would have to say that's pretty good order. And same with the steering wheel and the centre console. Some marks just on the top of the handbrake lever there on the leather. And the, the shift patterns just begin to discolour ever so slightly. These can also wear quite badly as well because the controls are rubber. Sometimes you can actually see these go wear right through the white plastic. Got a couple of um, wear marks just on the temperature and on the fan, but you can still see the temperature and the, the fan emblem on there as well. So generally speaking, it's standing up pretty good. We've got a set of factory carpet over mats. 
and the entry plate and everything's all in good shape too. Let's run out the door card. You can see we've got the Bose audio system in this car. Leather's not faded, sorry, the uh, plastic door caps aren't faded or anything. And you've got your roll hoops there with the wind deflector. This is a back, the base reflex port for the subwoofer that comes as part of the Bose audio system. And I have to say I was very, very impressed by it. As we move around to the rear, you can see we've got the parking sensors there and just centered exit exhaust. Being a 2.7, it just has a single outlet rather than the twin. And we've got the new spoiler there, which comes up at 75 miles per hour, or when you press the button on the dash. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, we can see that again, picking up the reflections of the wall there, we've got absolutely nothing to report by way of any scratches or parking dents. Offside wheel on the rear, free from any damage, and we've got another Pirelli P0 tyre. Brake disc in the back there is in good shape. We'll just have another look at the air intake on the offside. We can see that there is no rust there either. And looking down the length of the offside from the front to the back, just picking up the reflections of the stock there, we can see that it's the same story again, no parking dents. Final alloy wheel, final matching Pirelli P0 tyre. Again, brake disc all in good shape there as well. Moving on to the inside of the car, we'll have a quick look at the door card. Use your touch points, just make sure that there's no excessive wear. A couple of small scuff marks just on the plastic there, just with people getting in and out over the years. Again, we'll have another closer look at the driver's seat. You can see you've got a little bit of leather stretching just there, and the outer bolster just have, it's got a couple of fold marks on the leather and compare it with the passenger side and we'll hop in and get the car started confirm the mileage 54,728 miles make sure the car's in neutral and then we'll give it a start now we can see the car starts and idles as it should with no warning lights we have hidden cup holders in there as well Certainly in general, the interior presents really, really well, especially for a car of this age. Great driving position, big centre tackle right in front of you there. And we've also got our heated seats down there as well. And the air conditioning is all tested and blowing cold. Common soft spot on all Porsche models as the radiators tend to rust out with road dirt and leaves that fill up the, the radiator pods. So we'll give the car a wee rev like you hear what it sounds like. That's 3000 RPM, flat 6 sound is really, really good. And now we'll pop the roof up and we'll get a look at the roof condition. As you can see, the roof has gone up absolutely fine. We've got the final uh, stage, which is a manual clasp. I'll let you see how that works. and then it's the reverse. If you want to put the roof down, you press that in, you pull the clasp back, and then you operate this button down here. We'll get the front and the back boots opened as well, so you can see what sort of luggage capacity we've got. Unfortunately, guys, we can't show you what the engine looks like because it's buried in underneath where the roof folds away. So as I mentioned earlier, the car does come with its own car cover, a full owner's pack and all the service history is contained in the, the, the history file there. And if we walk round to the front, you'll see just the capacity in the front, which is often referred to as the front, because it's the trunk at the front. This is really, really deep. Um, between the two boot areas, you certainly won't have any issues with um, going away for a couple of weeks at a time, plenty of space. And finally, we'll have a good look at the roof condition. 
Cairns Weekend, you tend to find your way, starts to occur here. And again, you know, you tend to find it here, just where the, the fabric can rub on the mechanism as it goes uh, as it goes up and down over the years. But roof isn't. Again, just like the rest of the car, the roof's in excellent order. Thank you very much for making it to the end of the video, guys. If you would like more information on the Boxer, there will be a link to the description. There will be a link to the car in the description below. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave that in the comments, or you can email us via the link. Or you can give us a call on 01236 779000. As you are looking at a Porsche Boxer on YouTube, there is a video up here that I think you might find interesting. Also, if you would like to consider subscribing to the channel, that way you'll not miss any more stock updates or any up-and-coming road tests. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope you found it useful. I'll see you in the next one.